and what are you guys going to do? Because the longer you wait and do random searches, I mean, kids feel like it's a game. Because what happens if, what, what something happens when you guys don't do a search? Right now, some students in the Hebfield Area School District are raising concerns about their safety at school. Yeah, and this comes after a string of recent threats. Jessica Gway joining us live in the newsroom with how the district is responding after these scares at school. Jess, good morning. Good morning, Lindsay and David. The Hemfield Area School District may soon begin doing daily searches on all students and visitors after two recent safety threats. The school board approved a motion putting a new search policy on review for 30 days. Police say earlier this month, a high schooler brought two loaded handguns to school and gave them to classmates, one on a bus and the other in a bathroom. This prompted a lockdown. According to the Westmoreland County District Attorney, three 15-year-olds face felony charges in juvenile court. Since the incident, high school students have been searched with metal detector wands. Also this month, a middle school student allegedly posted on Snapchat threatening to bring a gun and shoot other classmates. The Hemfield Area School Board started a new security committee to look at ways to improve safety. They're considering metal and weapon detectors and backpack rule changes. High school senior Nick Miller spoke up last night saying he's frustrated about not seeing stronger safety changes and he says the board isn't moving fast enough. I'm here today telling you that we're disappointed as students and disgusted with the way things are being handled with the situation. Kids are scared. This has literally been discussed every day, not just since the incident, but very often prior to that. So I understand your frustration 100%. I really do. Um, and we're, we're doing as much as we can. The search policy that's on review would allow searches at any school any policy has to go through a 30-day review period to allow for public comment before it's approved by the board, then the superintendent would have to approve it. The Hemfield school director says he wants to hear from students to get feedback about this process. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Gway, KDK TV News.